Hey everyone, Matt here with the fish tank and today I'm going to show you guys uh, not in detail how to build a swirl filter, but I'm definitely going to put it together today. Um, God willing, I have enough time in the day. So anyway, I went out to Home Depot and I got some parts and um, these are some of the parts I'm going to need for my system. For your system, it's going to be different um, size wise and all that stuff. Um, but just uh, one of the things you need to remember is that, um, you know, the pipe going in, if it's smaller and it's under pressure, you need to have um, a, a larger diameter pipe to, for the outflow, okay? Um, but in my case, I'm using gravity to, um, uh, you know, go into the barrel, start the swirl, and then uh, the exit pipe is going to be the same size. And the reason why is because I'm using gravity. I'm not using pressure. Um, so good rule of thumb is if you have a smaller diameter pipe filling something, you need to have a larger diameter pipe to drain it okay so keep that in mind if you're building a system um, now gravity is different so but anyways so um, I need to have a drain at the bottom of this and so I basically got this bulkhead for that okay um, mine's threaded on the inside right here as well as in here and on the outside here okay some of them you can get a smooth fitting to where you can fit like a smooth uh, piece of pipe over this okay um, but I like the uh, I like the threaded kind because when I do the drain so let's say this is through the barrel and I'll show you guys this in a minute you th put that through the barrel and then you put this threaded end <clears throat> on there like this right and then um, you can put some Teflon tape which I probably will um, I don't know this is a tapered fitting so but anyways um, you would do that right so that's going into the barrel right and then you would have the pipe coming out going up and then to a little uh, ball valve okay and that'll be for your drain and then on the inside you want it to be about an inch inch and a half up from the bottom of the barrel and then have another pipe coming out this way and then down and into the uh, into the bottom of the barrel so Anyways, I'm gonna, that'll be for my drain, right? And then, um, well, for my draining the solids out of my, my filtration system. So, and then I'm gonna need an entrance for a one and a half inch PVC pipe coming from my sump tank or my uh, fish tank to the sump tank right now. So we're bypassing the sump for now to go into the barrel and then into the sump tank. So I'm gonna need an entry for that and um, so I got an entry and then an exit back into the sump tank okay then you're gonna need obviously a hole saw and that's what I got so um, yeah and Ryobi thank you guys you guys make some great tools <laughs> so especially for projects and then this this is just something extra I'm gonna put a tap actually today on my fish tank um, for the drain pipe so that I don't have to basically deal with water draining out of it I can just close the tap if I can do it, yeah, there you go. Close the tap, even though I just opened it. Close the tap, and then you'll be able to shut off the water and work, basically, on the filtration system. So I'm going to be installing that as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and start cutting the holes in the barrel real quick and put everything together. Now, I'm not going to show you guys too much here, but, uh, you know, I'm losing daylight. So um, one thing that I did want to tell you um, is you start off going straight. And then when you get to a straight point, uh, when you get you, you know the saw in there a bit, and then you reverse the, you reverse it, and you go backwards. And the reason why you want to do that is because it's going to give you a smoother cut. Um, I do have a deburring tool uh, that I'm going to be using anyways, but yeah, you want to go ahead and run it backwards when you get it bit in there, you know. And you just want to let the tool do the work. Nice and slow right at the end. Bam. Nice clean hole. Barely anything to clean up. So I'm going to cut the other holes. And then I'm going to put the, uh, <clears throat> the stuff together and then show you guys the finished product. I'm hoping to start it today. But uh, if not, uh, I, I might do another, another video just to show you guys how it's working. So let's go ahead and cut the rest of the holes and get everything set up. Well, I'm just about out of daylight. 
I wanted to drill the drain hole because it's really important. I could technically start it right now. I could put the inlet and the outlet and let it rip, uh, but solids will start to accumulate down there at the bottom. And I want a way to suck them off the bottom. Now I could just basically siphon them off the bottom, um, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, I want to set up something to where uh, I can get these solids out with a tap. So when I started to drill, or when I started to get the hole saw ready for the next hole, which is going to be a smaller one, yeah, the bit broke. And that was because I was beating the crud out of it to try and get this rusty thing off of here. So um, I'm going to basically have to go get another part from, uh, you know, your the depot. And um, yeah, get to this tomorrow. So anyways... You guys get the idea pretty much. So I'll get the rest of it, of it on video tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually Friday for me um, right now because um, I'm on Thursday. So I don't like filming and doing the editing on the same day though. So anyway, I will get to the rest of this tomorrow. So uh, check back with me in just a second. And as promised, I actually had to level the dirt. <laughs> There's much more to it than just you know popping this thing together. So um, I built the drain, and as you can see, uh, I can adjust it because I got to cut the pipe a little bit to where the pipe's lower down and stuff to the bucket. Um, but I got a ball valve on there. I need to glue it all, you know. But I wanted you guys to see it before the sun goes down again today. This is Friday now, so um, I can trim it up right there. You see, you know, kind of tighten everything up, make it look good. But anyway, the idea basically is the water will come in from the fish tank, and it'll come. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second. I gotta shut this valve because I turned off the water. I'm gonna attempt to get this thing running right now, but it'll take me a little while. So, um, so anyways, that's the fish tank. The water comes from the bottom of the fish tank, and then it comes down this way and goes into the sump. That's why none of the solids are really getting caught. They're going down into the sump, and then the, the the pump there is pumping it into my grow beds, which is fine in the grow beds. And then there's another little grow bed behind over there, right? And then I have these larger ones, which I'm going to put my ranchos and stuff like that. So uh, I'm trying to avoid solids. So uh, this swirl filter, basically, it's going to come in. Instead of going into there, it's going to come into here. Okay. Then I'm going to have a little elbow that's going to send the water for a, for a loop, basically. right? And the solids are going to be heavier than the water. So what's going to end up happening is, is this swirl. I'm going to stand up on these bricks. The swirl is basically going to swirl it all the way down and then eventually it'll get to one point where the solids will just be heavy and, and you know sink to the bottom okay and then they're gonna most likely accumulate there in the middle so obviously I built it to where the pipe comes in right and it's about probably about that high off the ground in the bottom of the barrel okay and so what that's gonna do is uh, when I turn on this tap, it's gonna pull the solids right off the bottom. Now I'm gonna do something later on, maybe you can put a shower drain or something like that, something to where it's a, a bigger diameter and um, keep it off the bottom as well and then kind of suck all that off there. Um, I may even add a tap later on to um, basically drain most of the water so that I'm not wasting a lot of the water basically put a tap there and then just drain off most of the clean water like just shut it off basically let everything settle and then drain off most of the top water and then the bottom water I can just clear it all the way out so but that'll be another video and then from there it goes into here and then into my sump tank and I'm gonna be adding other filtration in this but those are other episodes as well so um, if I get it started uh, I'll post it in this video if I don't then um, you'll see it in another video. So anyway, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> God bless you guys. And uh, yeah, like always, peace and uh, rice and Jesus Christ, right? That's <laughs> all you need. All right, later. I was just playing. <laughs> anyway, I got it hooked up. And uh, yeah, just started the water back. So it is further away from the uh, girl bed there but you know what whatever's or the uh, fish tank or whatever so anyway I got it all plumbed now I got my slow down there all my fish are chilling over there so we're gonna see how this goes I'm probably gonna end up having to brace this so I'll probably put a rope and then 
tied up here or something because I'm ghetto fabulous. So, but anyway, I'll get back to you guys when it's when it's basically starting to fill up and stuff, right? There she blows! <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm gonna get back to you. The water is discolored, and the reason why is because in aquaponic systems, you have to add iron, and I add a few other things to make sure that my plants are at optimal health. But yeah, it's working. Basically, it drains out of the fish tank. All the solids come down into here. They go this way, go under this, basically. They kind of shoot down all the way down and then you can see already there's stuff accumulating at the bottom so and then once it gets nice nice and mucky down there then you just basically turn on the spigot and bam it'll come out into a bucket so i'll give you guys oh look it already see around the pipe cleared it out pretty good <laughs> so anyway i'll give you guys updates on it um this basically just skims the top too and, and uh, sets the water level too in the, in the, the, the barrel. See? And then it dumps in there. I'm going to build another sock filter system most likely right here to catch any solids. So, but yeah, anyway, got this thing up and running finally. So I'm hoping that uh, my grow beds will have less uh, major solids in the, the water column and, and uh, water should be a lot, a lot cleaner. So anyway. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button wherever it is and uh, join me uh, on Facebook or wherever else. Instagram is where I'm, I'm at. So uh, anyway, God bless you guys and like always, yeah, peace.